Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I only have two videos today. This week, but I don't know why I didn't pick. I don't know why I didn't do them yesterday and Wednesday. I picked the two days I'm working to film videos. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, it's Walden Week, so I'm going to give you this video today and then tomorrow. Hopefully, Grace Hall. Probably, most likely tomorrow. Probably not today. I might do it today. Depends how much time I have before I do this video. But, um. So it's Wild Week. I'm actually starting. I'm rewatching the series of the Walls. I just finished season two, um, but then got me thinking. I'm like, okay, what is up with the timeline? Because the first four seasons, we get a consistent one year period: thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, and thirty six. But then once we hit season seven, something happens to the timeline. It goes from thirty seven to 38, to 37, to 38, and then to 39 a bit. It's a little weird. It does this um, again in season 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, and because season 9 ends in 1945, when the war ends, which is obviously in September, the whole series is a span of 12 years as to whether or not they age that long well John Boy is 17 at the start of the series so in 12 years he would have been 29 but yet in the 1990 in the years late in the 90s that would have taken place in the 60s. He would have been in his 30s. I will. No, he was born in 1918, so he would have been in his 50s. Yeah. So would a Jason. So would a Jason. Marion was born in 1920, so she would have been in like her 40s, as would Aaron and Ben. Which, it works for Ben and Aaron and Mary Ellen, and I guess technically Jason, but John Boy doesn't. The timeline's really weird in the Waldens, and I have no idea why. I guess they just wanted to get through more, more, more like time throughout different seasons. Which, I'm okay with that, because that timeline works as does in the reunion videos, the first three. But the ones they did in 1995, 97, and nine, the ones they did in 93, 97, and 95, those were in the 60s, and then that doesn't make sense of the time. It, it just doesn't make sense there. And then they get into stuff where they mention stuff that happened, like they mentioned how Chance Chance's calf, but in the graduation, the cow dies, and it's a different chance. And the timeline, I hate it. it, it uh. This is the really the only show I watch where the timeline is very inconsistent. Because Hardland, you can always tell what year it is because the year the season is taking place in is what year it is. So, for instance, the first season hardland season one takes place in the year 2007 as little house in the parade um that one we don't actually really know what year it is because they never really say but definitely we do have a consistent timeline because we can see what year it is in season seven figure out what year it is in season one how to change dragon okay the 15 in the first movie the first then the first series where such fans book is the same year Race to the Edges three years later. Uh, How to Train Dragon is uh, two years after that, and the third one, the third, the third movie, is a year after that. It is because there isn't an exact year. The timeline, I guess you could say, is a little inconsistent. But they at least mention how many years it has been, instead of having you to try and guess from the Waltons. Because they do mention he will say what year it is sometimes. But then sometimes he won't, and you're wondering what year it is. And it just doesn't make sense. That's If 
if I had to pick one thing I hate about the Waltons, that would just be, it would just be the timeline. The history and everything else is great. Lots of stories are great, but the timeline, I hate it. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which will not be on the Waltons, but on another TV show that I have just started watching. See you.